We are a group of undergraduates and we design, build, and test uh, robots for an international robotics team. You can think of it a lot as kind of like, like battle bots, but we also like launch projectiles instead of it being like PvP combat. In the US competition, there are two different types of matches. Uh, we have a 1v1 match, and that is uh, just like a smaller field, and we have the two robots with a couple dividers, and the goal is just to eliminate the other robot. But the 3v3 competition can be a bit more involved. Uh, you have three robots of like different types, and one of them can be fully autonomous, which is the one that my team is working on. In a similar format, where the goal is to eliminate the enemy robot, but again, it's a much larger field, and there's a couple like additional things that can make it a bit more challenging. I joined uh, Purdue RoboMasters um, because I thought it was interesting. I've always had a knack for like computers and stuff like that, as well as uh, hardware and software aspects of them. But primarily, I was exposed to it through the Datamine VIP program. Last semester, I took a class um, called ECE 362. And surprisingly, a lot of what we learned in that class directly related to a project I'm currently working on, specifically with the programming and also using like an STM32 microprocessor. For the algorithm team, uh, I've been working on a few um, like side projects as well as some crucial parts of our code. Currently, I'm working on an automation process where when the referee system says to start the match, the robot starts running its code and starts doing its, all of its initialization functions, so that way we don't have to do it manually. Previously, I've worked on some game tapes. So let's say you want to go through previous matches. We can run all those pictures and all those videos back through the algorithm so we can retrain our computer vision model. I'm on the electrical sub team right now. A lot of the members are doing personal projects, but kind of like the big overarching project for the team is developing and testing the supercap or supercapacitor for our robot. Well, algorithm team deals like with the software that goes on the robot, and that can take the form of like computer vision, so being able to detect where other robots are and being able to like aim at them. But we also deal with like software as a whole, whether it be like like communication between devices or this year, one of the, the larger things that we're doing is working on like autonomous navigation. So being able to have our robot get from point A to point B by itself with no like human interaction. I feel like experience, uh, program experience, I get out of uh, the club a whole lot. I've been exposed to a lot of C++, which is the language that we use for ROS2, which is our communication for the, like internal communications for the robot. And then we've also been exposed to some Python scripts as well, as well as just markup languages for configuration files and stuff like that. I also get out like corporate partners. Uh, we have a few uh, sponsors that are here today. Uh, just going through and like talking to them, getting some like hands-on corporate experience is pretty neat as well.